American Gladiators, Incredible Technologies, and Game Tech, 1991. Some of you may remember this as a show on TV. It was so mindless and fun to watch common people get beat. Since then, though, I've moved on to better obstacle course entertainment like MXC. Let's go! So the game showcases five of the show's events. Joust, The Wall, Human Cannonball, Assault, and Powerball. So Joust is a basic attack and defensive game. You have three levels you can hit the opponent at, upper, middle, and lower. All you gotta do is push them back and push them off the platform and avoid getting yourself knocked off in the process. On the wall, you alternate A and B to climb the wall, but you can't touch any of the sides of the wall or you fall off. And it's hard to pay attention to that kind of stuff when all the other gladiators are trying to swarm you. Human Cannonball. In Human Cannonball, you grab onto the swing and try to get a good angle so you have as much momentum as possible to knock the other gladiator off the pedestal. So in Assault, you run up the course and try to avoid all the projectiles. At each point of cover, you get a launcher to shoot back. I remember in the show, these things were just like super-powered nerf guns. And in Powerball, grab a ball and go back and forth through the course trying to get one ball into each of the baskets. The opponent gladiator movement is kind of elastic, so you can just lure them to one side and then just make a run for it the other direction. So all in all, there's kind of a mini-games focus here. It's put together okay, but it just gets boring really fast, so I'll just give it a 5 out of 10. Yeah.